fucking amazing. Finally, new strings, bro. Oh my God, it sounds so good. What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. We are getting into the newest episode of Bleach that just dropped today. Thousand Year Blood War Part 2, Episode 11. Total episode, I believe, 24? I think it's 24. That's what we're going to go with. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we're getting into this. Uh, I had a little intro jam. Haven't done that in a long ass time. Uh, just because like, usually uh, I was doing the intro jams for a while, uh, way back. I don't know if anybody that's watching this reaction has been watching all of my videos since, you know, a couple months ago, you know, most of my viewers are new viewers. If I had to guess, since I'm still such a small channel, but yeah, I'll play a little bit of something that I just fuck around with on the guitar. Cause I love playing guitar. Uh, that's what I call an intro dram. Like I just literally put like a little jam in the intro of the video before we get into the reaction and discussion and then actually watch the episode. So yeah, I haven't done one of those in a while and I just, just did because I finally bought some new guitar strings. I spent like fucking like probably like a hundred bucks or something on, on guitar strings. Um, not for each, every instrument that I have. Cause I have like 11 guitars, including one bass. But uh, the main instruments that I wanted to restrain, restring, I got like three packs for each guitar. That way, you know, I can change them every like three to four months because I don't play every day, but I do play probably at least three to four times a week, which is like, okay, you should probably change your strings like three to four times a year then. So that's where like, I'm, I'll probably just change it quarterly. You know, that'd make the most sense since I got a, I got a pack of three change it every four months will be good it will last us a year and i got a shit ton of other like i I've, i only restrain uh the or restrung the one that i just played in the intro my acoustic back there you can see it like on the little stand behind the chair that was my mom's dad's guitar and i have loved that guitar but i've never restrung it like literally how i got it like how i received it like from my like like granddad like never changed anything on it never changed the strings and the strings were already like it was already in great shape surprisingly who knows how if he ever even changed the strings either but like i just never changed them and i it was it's one of my favorite instruments like it's probably one of the best acoustics that i own in terms of just like the sound and like brightness of like the steel string uh type vibe and i love it so much so i was like dude i, I need to change these fucking strings man like the g string was literally like like not like I don't know how to explain it like literally the material was coming off of it to where at one point in the fourth and like around the fourth and fifth fret it was just straight string like it wasn't like the like metal like that is coated around the string it was just string like oh my god they were so bad so it sounds fucking amazing let me know what you guys think uh, I haven't done an intro jam in a while but that's definitely why I mean that's just basically why I did it is because I restrung my guitar and I'm like oh my god yes it sounds so good now like thank god finally getting that done so, uh, yeah, just having some fun, man. Just having some fun. But yeah, Bleach. Let's talk about fucking Bleach. Last episode was a lot of fun. Simply because we're just seeing Kurosuchi be Kurosuchi. Like, he is just a savage scientist willing to test out whatever. Not really whenever, but when the opportunity presents itself, you damn right. I'm going to test some fucking drugs or whatever the fuck I want to test out in general. Um, so that's exactly what he did. And he basically made Gigi uh, his bitch <laughs> and all of her zombies. Like, and then it made his own zombies because like, you know, her zombies were rendered useless. Like, oh yeah, I can just turn them into my zombies. And that's exactly what he did. And then, and so like, and then Byakuya was kind of questioning the morality of this whole thing. And like, you know, you could have just let them die. Like the captains that were a part of the visors and it's like are they really already like dead like are they dead dead or not i don't know and still we uh, you know this the the drug or whatever the second drug that he tested on them that like you know switched them over to like his control we saw that work on those two captains where it, he first injected hisugaya so what's good with hisugaya like what the fuck's going on you know what i'm saying uh hopefully we get back to that you know what i'm saying i hope we see him like uh, okay at least or just under kurosuchi like the rest of them or something i don't fucking know but yeah that's where we left off with that like i just remember like okay you used it on hitsugaya first so he should be good right right something like that and then basically byakuya dealing with or you know uh mopping up the floor with candace to do with the pistol and some other guy um, and then eventually dealing with Pepe the Love, which was Stern Richard L, who was basically fucking Cupid. Like it was hilarious. Like the, the whole R and B soundtrack, like it was nice and groovy and shit. Like it was, it was fun. It was, it was just a funny fucking 
character and it, it just didn't, didn't fucking last long because he was trying to take advantage of his comrades rightfully so right from the get-go and she did not like that one fucking bit so after Kurosuchi she mopped him up a couple times like you know she, he got sent into a dark corner where the girl that he uh, one of the girls that he was trying to you know use to his advantage or just get out of the way so he has no more competition like you know less competition in front of you the better right she was pissed and she fucking finished him the fuck off i think like literally just ate him up so that was pretty much the exact ending of last episode and that's where we finished up oh we did have an end credit though we saw yuha baha Uryu and hashwalth or whatever his name is finally arrived to the royal palace so that's interesting so I'm expecting to maybe catch back up with who we already saw last episode. Like I'm hoping to get some in more info or just uh, 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 be able to at least see Hitsugaya since we, you know, haven't seen him since uh, Kurosuchi used that drug, which I would assume has worked since it worked on the other two. Uh, Ichio and them and Yoderichi and Urahara. I would love to catch up with them because uh, we didn't see them last episode. It's been one before that. And then also see... I guess if we're going to see them, hopefully they go ahead and like they're already ready to fucking launch or whatever, and then we catch up with you, Hop Aha, and the rest of them. So I'm excited to get in this episode, man. It's gonna be a good one. So without further ado, let's do it. If you guys enjoy it, please leave a like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, episode 24. Soja Soul Society Gense. ウェコムンドからなる三階のバランサーとしてソウルソサイティとリヒトライヒの間に不可思議な。あ、ナナグレッションバックバトゥイーンザソウルソサイティとリヒトライヒによる君子の統一には、わしらも一切感じ。ユ
Oh, she got we got we got foot soldiers too. What's up? It's war, bitch. It's war. End of the intro. Let's get it. I keep on forgetting about this shit. I don't want to see anything spoiling the episode. Just 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 throw me into it. Why do we have to play? I just heard the opening and what we have to hear more of the opening. The fuck is this? Oh my god, is it fucking what's his face? Starts with the G. Yeah, Ganju. Oh my god, this fucking guy. <laughs> this is stupid as shit already. Nothing's changed. I don't think you do. I mean, maybe I, I can't I can't remember honestly. Maybe Ganju had a glow up or something. He got some new moves up his sleeve. I can't fucking remember though. It's been so long since I read this shit. But like, from my recollection of how Ganju was in the first Bleach, way back in the Soul Society arc. Well, man's, you know, he held down a little bit, but it, 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 it didn't do that much. All right, yeah, so we we take we lift it off, motherfucker. Yorichi with this too. Let's go. Yeah, not very straight. Now it's straight. Hey, y'all, y'all motherfuckers need to take a nap, dog. Like you guys got your shit rocked. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, looks like our foot soldiers are better. Motherfucker, what's up? What is going on? Okay. Does he have a split tongue? Or is it two tongues? This shit's tripping me out. Like, what the fuck? When the fuck? Oh my god, that was quick. Oh! Damn! Like, it's like an Iron Maiden, but like with fuck it, just a robe. Great Weaver. She's the one that makes all the clothes and shit. Using like Squad Zero's bones and hair and all that shit. Uh, hello, Ichigo. You want to speak up? <laughs> you just you just came from there. Oh, Hmm. Well, either way, Yuhabaha doesn't agree with the fucking Soul King's purpose and, and whatever it entails. So I think he's just, yeah, either trying to replace him or just get rid of him. Way back, Soul Society arc. That was one Quincy in the Serate, though. We got a shit ton of Quincy's now. <laughs> he got embarrassed because he cares about him. Damn, threw him off like, you don't deserve to be up here. Get the fuck out of here. Just tossed him. Who else we got now? 
coming out of the woodworks. Oh, he has his own personal royal guard that we haven't even seen yet. Sternritzer X. Little Baro. Sternritzer C. Pernita. Oh, so these are these these are the certain Richard that he chose to come up with him. That's when that's what the other Quincy were talking. I'm hope I, I hope I'm, cho I'm chosen. Sir Richard M. Garrett Valkyrie. Oh shit, she's actually shocked that that attack worked. Oh my god, yo, that dude's not dude. He bro, my man's just fucking Thor, bro. Like what? Oh shit, what is this? Yeah, this is a fucking soldier. What? Oh, what the fuck? What is that? What is that? Oh man, just got a sniper? Oh! Did you see the fucking hole in her head? Yo, that bitch's forehead just got dusted. Wow, they put they 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 legit just put like a fucking hole, straight up hole through her head, like it was nothing, bro. That was just one guy. That was just the shot that he just shot, whatever that fucking was. Look at what done, done. Wow, wow. Oh my god, I, she's- I thought- I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure she was already dead, but okay. We'll just fucking crush her up into a ball. Oh my god! Dude, this guy's insane! Bro, I don't remember his royal guard. I don't remember them at all, besides the fucking- the Valkyrie dude looks familiar. But I can't- I, I didn't know what the fuck they were capable of. Holy shit, he literally just- wait, is this all a fake? Uh, ah, she not dead? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't get too ahead of yourselves, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, it's still, I, bro, it's still lit as shit. Holy fuck. A womb? Oh my god, they're literally like basically in a birdcage. I'm trying to hear. I'm trying to hear the Valkyrie's voice more. It's it Loki. One certain thing he said sounded familiar, like voice actor wise. Never mind. I, I can't. I can't pinpoint it. I thought it might have been Thorgil for a second. I was like, that's funny because I literally just called this man Thor just the way he looks. Hmm. <coughs> So the the more attacks they use of, with Reishi, it's just gonna make the cage grow even bigger. Let's go, Squad Zero, really fucking pull the fuck up, dude. Shutara, Genji Shutara. Holy Guardian of the South. Hikifune. We've already learned their names, I think, in the first part. I, it's just like, it was so quick. Like, I'm trying to, like, say them out. <coughs> yes, you are, buddy. <laughs> oh, Etsu! Yo, this is gonna be a straight up battle. Come at us together. Don't hold back. Wow. Damn. Did he just knock him out? Oh no, he he fucked him up. He got him. The baddest man in Squad Zero. Go ahead, motherfucker. I love this shit, yo. I don't want this episode to end, dude. 
This episode is uh, this episode feels like it's moving so fast. Sonna yeah, nah, yeah, he's nasty as fuck. <laughs> he just keeps moving forward. Just keep moving forward. <laughs> Yo, nah, Oetsu is crazy. Oh, oh my name. But it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you are. <laughs> oh, that's too cold as fuck, bro. What is this? What did, what did he just do? He just teleported out? Are we not going to do anything about that? Rising. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's his face? Hyosube, I think it's his name, Hyosube, is waiting up there, so. Yeah, Hyosube. <laughs> he said, You will let me through. Like, motherfucker, what? Chastised? <laughs> this motherfucker cold as fuck, yo. Yo, all of them cold. No, no. This is what I'm talking about, man. Oh, dude, the episode was going so fast. I didn't realize what we were getting to the end that quickly. Like... That Loki came out of nowhere, bro. Like, I just... I, dude, I was sucked into that episode. That episode was gas. That episode was fucking insane. Wow. Well, dude, from here on out, because we got 12 and 13. We got two more episodes, so... These next two episodes of this part two are going to be fucking filthy. You already know, because, like, this shit... Are, are they doing... No, wait, hold on. Wait, let me look at part one real quick. Before I do anything else. Okay, it's still two separate episodes, but if I remember correctly, in part one, they released 12 and 13 back to back. Like, I, like I, uh, how I'm looking at it is that it's, two se it's t still two separate episodes, but they did release them the same day. Like, it was like a big drop. You know what I'm saying? So it was like basically like an hour of like bleach for the finale. Two episodes back to back. Like, it was lit. Are they going to do the same thing? Because if that's the case, then yeah, next episode's about to be fucking, or just next week is about to be fucking crazy. Regardless, the end of this part two is just about to be fucking ridiculous, man. That's crazy, yo. Holy shit, yo, the energy stepped the fuck up this episode. That shit was gas, dude. Oh my god. Damn, man. That was fucking lit. That was lit. Let's talk about it. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing, spectacular episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. That was so much fun to watch. I was not expecting the energy to fucking jump up that fucking quickly and just see really like some like new things being divulged that we have yet to see. Um, you know, like Yuhaba's uh, Royal Guard getting back up to the Royal Palace and seeing what they actually start to do which was part of that revealing his royal guard and then obviously squad zero getting in the action and everything like the second half of the episode was fucking insane that shit was so lit um but uh let's try and track down from the beginning i'm pretty sure we started pretty much where we left off from last episode for the most part uh where were we at in the very beginning where were we at where were we at I think I think we uh, saw a flashback. That's right of Hyosube, which is I guess you could say the leader of Squad Zero. It seems like that as much though, because he literally names everything that has to do with the Soul Society and whatever, and uh, you know is the one that is in like conversations, like the one that he had with Yuha Baha. Like he's the one that showed up and had that conversation. Why? 
because he's probably the one that's the leader, like the most like suitable, I guess you could say, because they're all on equal terms. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like, like it's not like rank and file, like where like there's a captain and then there's a lieutenant. Like they're all captains in Squad Zero. They're all equally like strong as fuck and have their own unique abilities. But he just has probably the more like experience, or maybe he's just older than all of them. Uh, you know, a combination of those things and the most respectable out of them to be able to like lead those those five people including himself so we saw that flashback he's talking to you about ha and they actually came to them with a non-aggression pact to like kind of settle things in a non-aggression way like no violence basically and kind of make everybody happy in a way but you Baha didn't agree with the way that the soul king thinks or just like the way that the soul king works and in you know just like the like purpose of it i guess or or the the just the natural laws of the soul king and, and how the worlds work you know because he's in pretty much what he's pretty much what created or what uh instills and just keeps in place all three worlds you know the serite or the, the soul society um the world of living and then waco mundo so that's like the centerpiece of all those things. So the Yuha Baha does not just, just does not agree with what the fucking Soul King principles are, I guess. And, you know, uh, is decided that, you know, he's not going to follow that way of thinking and, you know, do his own thing. And that's why he's here to either, I, I'm assume, destroy the Soul King or kill the Soul King or fucking replace as like what they were like you know ichigo and then where they them like as they were rising to the royal palace when they first lifted off they were thinking like what yeah what the fuck does he want like what is his goal basically like they're trying to like break down like what they're about to walk into and that that was mentioned is like maybe he is trying to replace the soul king but we don't know for sure yet and i can't fucking remember exactly either so um we'll just have to wait and see but yeah, that was like the first part of the episode was getting that flashback, which was really interesting. I'm I can't remember. I don't I don't even know if I we, do they do flashbacks like that in the manga. I can't remember if I even saw that in the manga, but I'm sure I did. I just can't fucking remember. But regardless, the fact that he presented that pact and they actually had a conversation was that before the big war a thousand years ago. So like, was that conversation a thousand years ago? before like they had the first war in the soul society with like the first you know 13 court guard squads and shit like was that then or was like a, it like i don't know 500 years ago or something like they were trying to like you know make a truce or something like i want to say that it was like before the war but who knows it could be wrong because you can obviously tell that yuha baha is quite younger in that even though he's the king and you know is basically immortal you know he'll live like he just keeps living and living <laughs> But uh, he came to the royal bloodline in Yuha Baha, you know, Hyosabe, and presented that. And Yuha Baha was like, nah, fuck that. So Hyosabe was like, all right, you can be a dumbass if you want. You can try your luck, but you're going to get fucked up. Um, so they've been, they've been pretty much natural enemies and rivals for a long fucking time. And he's fucking head first standing in front of him right now like, you're going to let me by. And Hyosabe's like, you got me fucked up. I ain't letting you do shit like yeah i love the look on his face bro like they're about to go off so as you can tell it's kind of like leader versus leader because he got out of the cage that they set up for them and uh so it's going to be those two like that's why like the rest of them that are in the cage like dealing with the other like royal guard soldiers quincy's they're not or like those members of squad zero weren't worried or they i mean they were kind of shocked that he got out of it but they're not going after him why are they not going after him because he has to get through fucking ichibe you know, Hyosobe, whatever his name is. I think it's Ichibe Hyosobe. I think that's what it is, literally. So, looks like they're gonna have a fight, and then obviously the rest of the Royal Guard has to deal with Squad Zero. Like, they're literally all like fighting each other. And Oetso went off the end, bro. He used a blade that is incomplete because he can't make a sheath for it because it has to be in that substance. And it's too fucking sharp and, and, and like this and that. Like, it's it's almost like overpowered and so like because of the way that it, ha it has to be wielded and that it's not perfected he couldn't have sent it down to the soul society but he's like hey this is a perfect chance for me to test it out and figure out where i can go from here with this sword and he went the fuck in i mean all of them did and like you know the um hikifune which is like the the the, the uh, one with the she's always making the food and she's like she's like train um in between uh fucking uh really big or like really fucking in shape she digests so quickly or whatever it has to do with her like you know soul um 
spiritual pressure. Um, and then Kinji, I think his name is, he's there. And then um, Shuruta, I want to say her name is. I can't remember exact exactly what her name is, but she's the one that makes the clothes and everything. And she's like the, the like the first line of defense whenever they got out there, whenever they first like put their, you know, their uh, each respective foot soldiers against each other. Soul Society or the Royal Palace's foot soldiers fucked them up like it was nothing. Um, but that's when they he released Stern Richard W, which was like he had like a weird like bending ability where you couldn't attack him, and then he was able to like bend them and like cut them like really easily. But she mopped the floor with him real quick, put some robe on him, basically like an Iron Maiden, and he just fucking died. And then he just she just tossed the shit off the royal palace. This shit was hilarious. You just see his body falling. And then after that, that's when the royal guard is first introduced after Stern Richard W. And it's like, oh shit, I completely forgot about this. Like, you know, like there's a couple Stern Richard that we haven't even seen yet because they just weren't going to be revealed to us until now once they've been chosen in the Royal Guard. There's only one Stern Richard that we have seen before this uh, situation that is a part of the Royal Guard, and that's the dude that kind of looks like Eisen. That's when we first got that conversation, like whenever the light was first about to start. And like, you know, the Quincy's were starting to know, like, okay, yeah, like he, you how about how's about to start planning to go up there. The one that looks like Eisen, I think he's I think he's Stern Richard D, if I'm not mistaken. He was he he was like talking to himself, like, I wonder if I'm gonna be chosen. So like, okay, that's that's what he was talking about, is like if he's gonna be chosen for the Royal Guard. And he was. Along with Stern Richard C which has a crazy ability of like fucking just mushing shit like with his mind or something i guess <clears throat> and then the valkyrie dude that looks like straight up like a fucking literally like a valkyrie warrior like fucking viking type dude and then the guy with the sniper who uses you know very high concentrated ratios basically like sniper bullets and they're not small fucking bullets like when he shot uh shuruta or whatever her name is uh the one that makes the clothes and that huge ass hole in her head, I was like, oh fuck. Like I, that, sh that shit got me for a second. I was like, damn, he really just took her out like it was nothing. And then he shot down all the buildings, like all, or not even the, the buildings, like literally islands that like all the like respective squad zeros, like islands. I was like, bro, what the, f this dude's nasty. They're, they're all nasty. Like every single one of these people that are here in the Royal Palace right now is nasty as fuck. And Ichigo's coming up. Ichigo, that's what I'm talking about. Like the rest of them, I mean, Yoru Ichi, I think, Yoruichi and Ichigo probably have the best bet of staying, like, standing on their two feet and, like, actually having a chance. I don't know about Urohime, like, I don't even know if her, like, ability, because her ability is mainly focused around healing and defense and, and, and whatnot. She's not the greatest offensive character, like, she's more of a support character uh, in terms of, like, battle. So, like, is her shit even going to be able to defend against anything that people are using up here? Like, these motherfuckers are nasty, bro. Like, this, some, these are some of the nastiest, like characters that we've seen in terms of like capability and talent and just like raw fucking skill you know what i'm saying like everybody up in the royal palace right now is on another level including ichigo who's coming up so that's what i'm saying ichigo and yoroishi have the best chance but like chad odahime fucking ganju like <laughs> you bet y'all better be careful that's all i'm saying like this shit is getting wild like i was not i was not ready for that i completely forgot about the royal guard the only one i remember from the royal guard is the valkyrie dude like i just like he has a very distinct like character um design because of the mask and you know the wings on the mask and his blonde hair like very distinct design so i do remember him anybody else nah i didn't remember that they were going to be in the royal guard or even there was a royal guard but holy shit this is going to be lit as fuck because we got royal guard versus squad zero and then yuha baha versus yosa bay like yo and then he's going and then all of them are coming like not nah, this this shit about to be lit as fuck Damn, yo, nah, that shit was that shit was gas. That was a gas ass episode. I'm so excited for next week. And if it's if it's continuing the trend like last uh, the last part, and we're getting a double episode, like basically an hour hour of shit to watch next week, I am so fucking excited. That is, nah, I'm gonna be so so dialed in next Saturday. Literally all next weekend too. Like I'm I'm excited. I'm, I'm I can't wait for Juju. I can't wait for Bleach next week. One Piece is probably going to be fire as well next week. I mean, I got we got One Piece later tonight, which I'm almost like more excited, not more excited for, but like there's always those good moments of like watching like a long show or just like some sort of like, you know, arc or like situation 
or fight like coming to a conclusion and it's like you're almost you almost like want to like see like the aftermath of that said like situation or like fight more than like the actual fight which no i enjoyed the fight more in one piece obviously but like now i'm like i'm just itching to see like the aftermath and like you know like celebrating and stuff like if anybody watches one piece like you know where we're at but wow man what an amazing episode of bleach that was fucking gas i loved it so that's gonna do it for me can't wait for next week if you guys enjoyed this reaction please leave a like down below comment subscribe for new and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping i'll see you on the next one y'all be good deuces